so actually I'd love to just like be like, let's just read a book together because there's a book that has really amazing uh, infographs and such. But also, when do I get to use this PowerPoint slide? Com like, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> uh, so people asked about Oracle BoneScript. Uh, Jean, do you tell me when I have a minute? Um, and so it, oh, you, you guys already know me. You asked earlier. Okay. Uh, so we talked about this earlier. And each of these are symbols that are written, that were carved into either the shoulder of an ox or a turtle shell. Um, ox shoulders are a little bit more common to come by, so those were a little bit more used. And then they were either put into fire or a hot metal or hot bronze rod was applied to it until cracks happened. And uh, so the Shang Dynasty came up with this entire way of speaking and this entire character, s character set um, and only taught it to their priests and then said that it was like, oh, the gods know how the future, but then it was also a way to keep the lower people in line and combined religion and power. So power move there. Uh, but a lot of these were lost because in future years after no one knew that these, what these actually were, people thought they were dragon bones. They just found these random bones that had weird runes all written over them. So they ground them up and put them into herbs. And they're like, yay, they're healing. And it was only in the 1900s that someone looked at it and thought, wait, this looks a lot like bronzeware. So uh, of these, they're also quite like long and angular for the reason that this is carving into a bone. The next variation that after this is uh, sometimes called bronzeware, where they were able to actually carve things into a seal. Uh, but these had to, this is the first iteration, and someone realized from that. So there's a few different realms. Um, and I can give, show some examples. I might have to exit if I have time. Um, the first realm of how everything is broken up is the human realm. And it has people, humans, limb, the human body, and limbs. So there's something to represent arm, eye, every different thing. Uh, the upright man, sitting, uh, baby, woman. And then these all can combine together. Like if you put woman and baby together, or woman and child together, you end up with to like. So then these all combo together and have different meanings. The next one is the natural realm, elements, plants, animals, everyday objects, tools, and vessels. So we have a little bit more of uh, things that you would use to carve up. Uh, bows are in everyday objects, I think, not hunting. Um, and then tutorial, <laughs> territorial realm, which has like Construction as in housing, roofs, capitals, uh, spaces that you can have people in, or that people can exist in, and weapons. So here's another example off of the same type of infograph we looked at earlier of how these uh, changed throughout time. Um, and you can see, as I said, that the oracle bone, since it was actually being carved um, into bone, it had to it couldn't have as much detail. So the Bronze Age is the next one after that, and they were able to actually carve this into a seal and then press it into the bronze. Um, so they were able to be a little bit more exact, and that's how things changed as they went on. Yeah, that's what these are. <laughs> uh, but I also want to just show, if I have any time still, oh no, where's the actual one I wanted? Well, I had a book that I was trying to show an image of. Oh. Um, so a thing that I like, this is an amazing book, uh, is one that I meant to put in here, was a newborn baby is, this is what a newborn baby looks like in a uh, bone script. It's one minute, okay. And I didn't get to sc uh, screenshot all these things. It's very difficult to copy paste. They, hey, believe it or not, these things do not, there's not really a good way to do, transfer them. Uh, so then these are all of the, if we just want to look at the human realm for just an example. Uh, these are some of how these have changed. Like this is the upright man. Um, and we saw child a second ago, newborn baby, and how these have changed and evolved a little bit even in that amount of time. And there's like I. Um, so then these are all of the different limbs that you have, the hand. And then these all mean different things when you merge them together. And that's where modern Chinese comes from.